one day I got it many years ago, uh, I think more than 20 years, I got a phone call from Budapest. And uh, uh, the voice said, uh, my name is Ishtar Sabo and I want to, to make a film about the book uh, from Klaus Mann, Mephisto. And I interrupted him and I said, this is my part and we can see each other anytime. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this book was very important for me because when I was a young actor, 19 years old, in a, a little uh, town in Germany, in the south of Germany, a university city, Tübingen, I had my first part, which was Claudio, Measure of Measure from Shakespeare. And there was a book, very, very <coughs> famous, that was this Mephisto from Klaus Mann, uh, Klaus, uh, the son of Thomas. And I tried to get it, but it was forbidden at that time. Gustav Gründgens, a very famous actor and director and boss of the theater of the German language between uh, the wars and even uh, later on, had made a, a, what is a legal case against it. But anyway, if you insisted, then you could get it under the table. And then I read this book. And this book, this subject of the book, was for me, until today, is for me still, a, a very important guide, a regulation, what is important. You know, sometimes people try to hide behind the profession. You know, I am just a doctor, and you know, I'm the god, but well, you know, the patient is my dead mother. So, whatever. And, and so, and especially artists try sometimes to hide because they say, I'm just a writer and I'm not so informed, and I, I have to deal with fantasy and poesy and whatever. And an actor, yeah, you know, that was a script. It doesn't work. You have to have. Uh, uh, responsibility about your life and of course a life is not divide, <coughs> dividable in different sections. This I'm private and this I'm a profession and this I'm for children and for the mom and so no, that is unique. That's you and your profession is of course under the responsibility of your total own life. And therefore you cannot say as this Henry Höfgen in the film Mephisto, said in the end, oh, I'm sorry, I was just a actor. That's true. And his influence was not like a high up on politician. But he could have had another point of view to survive, in, let's say, in a small theater, in near Lake Constance, and not to be the boss and one of the big, big uh, representatives of this uh, murder system at that time. And this uh, subject um, is uh, what I'm what uh, conquers me every day when I work, I'm working and every day when I'm thinking about other things. So I cannot tell you what I would have done at that time. And everybody who is so sure what he would have done at that time, I'm suspicious and I don't believe it. You know? And that is not important. Important is that we are aware uh, of this enormous chaos of information we have today, given in democracies, uh, and this manipulation, of course, logically, that's a result of this uh, 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 chaos of information. You know, I mean, you put the television, you put this, you put journal, the, the, the newspapers, and so. In Vienna, when I am in a coffee house and I read my five, six, seven newspapers every day. Even there, I sometimes I have the feeling in this in this newspaper is written that and about the same subject in this newspaper that even the facts are changed. Is there? I know I'm not uh, I'm not naive, uh, uh, not knowing that a, a journal a newspaper has to have a, a line, a red line, you know, or, or an ideology behind. But sometimes the, the facts are <coughs> changed for the ideology. So we have to be more than in any time before, more aware that there are some errors, not to say some liars, which inform us. And also a photo 
and why? As you know, how do you combine this and that? I mean, <clears throat> we are in the biggest in the time of the biggest manipulation ever since the beginning of the world. Yeah. So for that people who wants to be in the, in the light in front of a camera on the stage, they have to have a moral and ethic position uh, to tell so far as possible um, what they are thinking, not the truth, what they are thinking, to make not uh, out of their heart uh, a murder. <laughs> <It's something. laughs> yeah. Help me, but it's, it's not so bad what I <laughs> University. We have to entertain people, you and me, and uh, to try our best because a boring film is really a boring film, film and a very bad film. And a film in which uh, some things happen, and so and articles, articles they bring something to me so that I learn something and I quality of my life is better after reading the article than we are the right position. <laughs> <laughs> so, ah, Ishtan Savo is, is, is a very good friend in the meanwhile, you can imagine, you know, I just met him two or three weeks ago, and next week he will uh, hold a, a speech, uh, because uh, I'm old enough now to get the Life Achievement Awards all over the world, there, 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 you know, after 16, it's like that. <laughs> no, I won awards early on too, but uh, not, uh, not for the life lifetime achievements, you know. So, yeah. Is there any uh, talk of working with him again? Because the correspondence between the two, the collaboration between the two of you, just seems so perfect. You know, uh, we are married anyway. You know, and we have some projects together, and we will see what we can do. But it's not necessary that you are all the time together. Uh, friends have a very long uh, breath, yeah. and we will do something. Write something for us, and we will. <laughs>